Hello, I am Frankie Presnar, and today we're going to be going over a quick tip in Reaper that I've come to realize a lot of people don't know. It's essentially copying over mix settings into other projects. So, if like if you're uh, recording an EP or album, and you want to have the same, uh, all the same uh, guitar tones, drum. EQs, whatever, kind of set up as a template before you go in and do the actual mixing. There's a really, really easy way to do that. Here's a track that has already been mixed down, and uh, over here I have one that I haven't mixed yet, both by the same artist. unmixed track so you could clearly hear that you know this one I put some work in on before we you know finish tracking vocals or anything like that I just want to make this sound the same as this here's what I'm gonna do make sure you already have it saved and yes this is the actual file name of the actual song or whatever I like to create goofy file names so this song is called Dehumanizer. I have different folders set up for all these. And in there, I'm going to save this as Dehumanizer Mixed Down. So now that's saved as that, and I'm literally just going to delete everything. Delete these markers. Any automation points, you're going to want to leave those evened out. Obviously, they won't uh, carry over to the uh, new song that you're going to be working on. Then, I will just literally copy all of this over. Make sure you have the tempo and time signature set correctly. This song is 135.44, this song is 140.44, so I'm just going to correct that and paste this into here. And there we go, that's, that's it. All the same guitar tones, bass tone, drum tones, whatever. Um, you do the same thing with vocal chains, same thing with uh, leads, right? So this lead looks like I actually changed the tone so just real quick sometimes you'll have to copy the FX put it in there doesn't look like I'm gonna need a clean channel in this song so I'm just gonna remove that call that lead one and uh, copy that guy over looks like it starts on the uh, second bar And then just mix in, you know, the lead from there, you do your usual thing, whatever. It's probably going to just need some EQ and stuff and uh I guess I'll leave that in here before I uh cut you out since I don't know. So yeah, I mean, there still needs to be editing done on that and stuff, and uh, maybe I'll take the opportunity and do a editing video. I do have a method inside Reaper to uh, edit drums very quickly and accurately, but still not make it so robotic, uh, just sort of doing it all by hand. So uh, maybe I'll make a video on that uh, tomorrow, next week, something like that. Uh, thank you for watching, and uh, have a good one.